Hey, hey, good people. Arthur Morris here. I hope all is well. In this video, we're going to look at adding rational expressions with denominators AX and BX. That means that we have variables in our denominator. So the first step, we have 5 over 3D minus 4 over 70, and it says to subtract and simplify the answer as much as possible. We need to find the least common denominator or the least common multiple of our denominators. The least common multiple of 3D and 7D. All right, so if we look at the 3 and the 7, uh, the first number, they will both go into the first multiple they have in common, uh, 7, 14, 21. 21 is the first number that they will both go into or the first multiple that they both have in common. And then we also have to look at the variables because every factor must be represented in our common multiple. So they both have d to the first power. So remember, uh, we look, if they both have that particular variable, we use the highest exponent. Well, the, the exponent for each one of those is 1. So that's what we will use in our least common multiple. All right, great. We have our common denominator, 21d. Now we have to figure out what did we multiply 3D by to get 21D. Uh, and if you can't just see that as 7, that's fine. You need to divide 21D by 3D. The D's cancel, and you see that equals 7. So whatever I multiply at the bottom by, I have to multiply the top by. All right, same thing for the 7D. What did I multiply 7D by to get 21D? And, and again, if you can't see that it's 3, that's fine. Divide your least common multiple by that, that original denominator. You see the Ds cancel, you get 3. And then from there, you start simplifying. So we have 35 minus 12 all over 21D. Thirty-five minus 12 would be 23. I don't have anything, any common multiples between, or any common factors between 23 and 21. So that would be my final answer. All right, so we found the least common multiple. We figured out what do we multiplied each one of the original denominators by to get the least common multiple. We multiplied the numerators by those same numbers, and then we simplified. I hope you found this video to be helpful, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you.